Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Pandora cruise video. So recently we took two cruises back to back on the Carnival Pride. Today we are talking about the second cruise. So for this cruise, we went through the Bay of Biscay, down through the Mediterranean Sea. We had a lot of ports in Spain and Portugal. So I'm going to be going over all of those ports, where the closest Pandora store was, what the kind of selection was for those exclusive country charms that we were able to find right now in 2022. Obviously, this is going to change as the years go on. Sometimes they get different exclusives, but for the most part, the exclusives do stay fairly similar, just depending on what's in stock. So for this cruise, I will put this up bigger on the screen. We started in London, England, flew into London, but the actual cruise ports out of Dover. So there's not a Pandora store in Dover. If you are coming from somewhere outside of London, outside of England, um, but you're not going through London, you may have a hard time getting an England charm. Um, but for those of us outside of necessarily this area, if you are flying into London, you should have no problem. There are plenty of Pandora stores getting a London or a British charm of some kind. From there, our first stop is Le Havre, France, which is, of course, the only French port on this entire cruise. And Le Havre itself is a very industrial port, which means there aren't a lot of shops in the industrial ports. You are going to have to go into town. You're going to have to go into the city. A lot of people drove all the way to Paris. And of course, if you're in Paris, Pandora's everywhere. But from Le Havre, we actually went into two different towns. We went into Rouen and Giverny. And there's, of course, Giverny is Monet's home. There's no Pandora there. But in Rouen, there is a Pandora shop. It's very centrally located and easy to get to. From there, we are going on to La Corona, Spain, Porto, Portugal, Lisbon, Portugal, Cadiz, Spain, Cartagena, Spain, and then into Rome. So a lot of these places, I think Portugal was the only place we were not able to get a Pandora charm anywhere on our trip. And that was not necessarily Portugal's fault. That was a mixture of our fault and a, a fault of the tour that we were on. So I'm going to go port by port now and I'm going to show you what I found in each place, what the stores looked like, the map from the cruise port to the stores. And so hopefully if you are cruising into any of these ports, this will help you find a Pandora store nearest to you so that you can get those exclusive charms for yourself. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, the ship ported out of Dover, but we flew into London and there are plenty of Pandora stores in London. As you can see from the map, we went to the location that's at the King's Cross station, which was in central London, downtown, close to our hotel. From there, you can see it's a large train station. There's lots of hustle and bustle. It is a working train station. Like people are using this for transport, although there are lots of shops inside. Now, unfortunately, I was way too distracted by the Harry Potter Platform 9 and 3 quarter store to remember to snap a photo of the Pandora store or a video for y'all, but I did grab a few pictures online so you can see what it looks like. It is an actual Pandora store and they have quite a few country exclusives. They have the double decker bus, they have the palace guard, big bin, the British flag, which is a little heart charm, and even the button charm, which is Buckingham Palace, which I want to get when I go back. But you can see that I picked up Big Ben. It is a beautiful charm. I love it. They all have the little heart details for the travel exclusives. And it's just, it's a nice skinny charm, which is different from a lot of the travel exclusives. I really enjoy that. Okay, y'all. So our very first port is Le Havre, which is a very industrial port. You will need to go into town in some way to access any kind of shops, let alone a Pandora. So a lot of people actually took the train all the way in for an excursion to Paris. And of course, there are plenty of Pandora stores in Paris with multiple exclusives. There are, of course, closer Pandora stores, depending on 
if you are just doing a trip on your own or if you're doing a different excursion. So we did an excursion through Viator.com um, that went to Giverne and Rouen. And in Rouen, there is a Pandora store. So you can see it's about an hour away from the port and it is very easy to get to. It is right downtown, right by the main um, Notre Dame Cathedral, which is amazing. You can literally walk to it. Like you can almost see the Pandora store from the main cathedral. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the footage from that day. All right, so we are in Rouen and here we are at the Pandora store. Ooh, there's a bunch of notes on the door. They better not say they're closed for lunch or I will cry. <sighs> All right. So we have the first Arc de Triomphe, the Eiffel Tower, the new Ken Pan Girl, and the Cathedral, Notre Dame. So I got a few, and mom got a cathedral, I got a cathedral, and Notre Dame. Okay, so here is a close-up at the first of those two charms, which is the Arc de Triomphe. This is the smaller of the two charms. It is very dainty. I love that it hangs on an angle. It has little CZ details. I mean, the detailing to begin with is incredible, but those CZs are so cute. It's so jaunty, so French. I love it. Next up, of course, is Notre Dame, which this is the actual cathedral in Paris, but of course, all French cathedrals um, are Notre Dame in some respects because that is just their word for cathedral. So the cathedral in Rouen is, I mean, go check out that excursion video. I literally did videos for every single excursion, for every single port, for the entire cruise, and this cathedral is ridiculous. It is huge and ornate and beautiful, and I love this little charm with the CD. CD, CZ details, it captures it beautifully. All right, next up is La Corona, Spain. So we did not do any excursions, no hop on hop off buses. We literally just walked around. And as you can see, this Pandora is within easy walking distance from the port. It only took maybe 10 minutes to walk there. And you can literally walk this entire green area is a beautiful park um, and garden area. So it is a nice, easy walk through a garden. If you can walk 10 minutes on a flat surface, you can make this trip. And here we go. So right out of the garden, you are on these nice flat cobblestones, not the older cobblestones. <laughs> and the Pandora is really easy to find. There's mom taking pictures. So... If you only go to one Pandora store on this cruise, this would be a great one. They have all of the travel charms up top, really easily laid out. The shop girl was super helpful. I wish I knew her name, but she did not speak hardly any English. It was basically point at what we wanted. And we wanted this flamenco charm. So it is a dingle. It has three little, three little pieces, the gold or the shine guitar, the red fan and the dancing shoe. And I love that little dancing shoe because it has a little heart detail on the bottom. I will show you in just a second, but I really liked this charm. I like the multi dangles because I think they add a lot of movement to your bracelet, but I also liked it because it's a more muted red as opposed to just the Spanish flag dangle, which is a bright red. This one blends a lot better with the other colors on my bracelet. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> Next up is Porto, Portugal. And y'all, I am sorry to say that while there are two stores in Porto, our excursion that day went super long. You can see this bridge that we had to cross over on foot. So we did not make it to the Pandora store in Porto. It was very sad, but I did point out the two locations for you. So if you are able to go, there's the two locations. 
Luckily, this, in, this specific cruise has two stops in Portugal, so we were able to go to a Pandora store in Lisbon, Portugal. You can see there are a few uh, Pandora stores here as well. It is in the El Corte Inglés store, and I am very sorry. I know I am butchering that. Uh, Spanish is, I took years of Spanish, and I'm awful at it. French is much better. So regardless, um, the first Pandora store that I pointed out here, we did go to that one. It is a counter in the El Corte Ingleses, and they did not have any exclusives for Spain or Portugal. Um, so we went a little bit further, another 10 minutes. We went to the second Pandora store on the map, and it was a standalone store in a mall. And they did have not necessarily an exclusive, but they had, well, here you go. I'll show you. They had the uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe charm. It was the only charm they had that had anything special to do with um, Portugal or Spain or Spanish speaking countries. So we were happy to get it. But you will see from the, the video just a second ago, this mall is like ridiculous. Our tour guide, um, Diego, said that it was literally the biggest mall in Portugal. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but I have no reason not to trust him. So this, the charm itself, you can see, is really pretty. It has CZs all the way down the back. It has beautiful detailing. It has heart and wings on the little anchor at the bottom. Like, she's gorgeous. So, while she's not necessarily an exclusive, I think this was a great charm to get for Portugal. And there's enough of a story that I will remember exactly where we picked her up. Our next port was Cadiz, Spain. So, this this cruise was very Spain and Portugal heavy, um, so we didn't necessarily need a charm for every single port, but we got one for most of them. So another case of really easy to get to, this Pandora store was actually a stop on the hop-on, hop-off bus at the El Cadiz Inglés store. I'm butchering that. I know I am. So you could literally ride all the way out. I think it was either stop 14 or 15 on the hop on hop off bus, see all of the sites and then get off. It was the last stop before the port and buy your charm. So I, I did take an entire video here showing you the mall because the mall is huge and how to kind of find your way around. So I'm going to go ahead and pop back to past Betsy for that. All right, so it is a counter in the store. What? Oh, yeah, I do want this. We'll see. See if they have anything else. I kind of like the blue ones. Yeah, the blue ones are like water. Whew. They're supposed to look like cut crystal or water. Yeah, those are really pretty. So like 58 each? Yeah. Whew. Yeah bigger the Murano, the more it costs. Alright, so we found... <laughs> what? He doesn't get it. You can go on the same box. It's a Murano. Oh, cute. Alright. Oh, it can go in the same box. Just, just one box. Okay, so for Spain and Portugal, we found Pandora both places in... Say the name? At El Corte Inglés. Which is a giant store, many levels. Beautiful store. It's very pretty. It's a lot like, like, Dillard. like Dillard's or a huge department store back in the States, but they have way more counters and different brands, and Pandora is one of them. Um, both places, they had four, five, six levels of the same store, and we found Pandora on the accessories floor so with the sunglasses and makeup and shoes so if you're looking for it there's your tip there's your tip yep all right so right when you walk in this is right in the doors from the hop on hop off bus has your little display and in this store we are on the pb level and you can see up to Optica, which is sunglasses and glasses, cosmetics. So, you know, this is shoes. This is the accessories floor. Complementos. That yeah. makes sense. Yesterday in Portugal, we had to go from ground one down to 
zero where they had accessories. So look for those words. You'll find it. On to the next one. Here is a close up at that little Spanish heart. You can see that while it's not necessarily anything special, it is really pretty and the heart details are on the side are a great extra touch. All right, y'all, another case of too little too late. Cartagena, Spain actually has a Pandora store fairly close to the port, but we took an excursion out to a Spanish horse farm. It was a little bit out in the country and it took our entire time in port. It was well worth it. And to be fair, to be fair to the excursion, there would have been, I think, two hours once we got back to port to go shopping um, in town to walk around. But I was not feeling great and we decided just to get back on the ship. Luckily, we already had two charms from Spain, so I wasn't feeling like we really needed one. I did put a picture here from our excursion at the Spanish horse farm. This is Milo, one of their young stud horses, and I am on the hunt for Disney's Magnus charm. I think he looks identical to Milo. I have to have him. I will find him one day, don't you worry. But in the meantime, we will move on to Rome. So this cruise disembarks in Rome instead of back to Dover. It was relocating. And of course, there are dozens, I hate to say dozens, of Pandora stores in Rome with lots of exclusives. We actually went to the Pandora store at the airport. So it is easy to get to. There was a map right once you got into the airport showing you exactly where the Pandora store was. And then it was just a quick walk down and they had the travel charms easily laid out. You can see here, they have the Coliseum. They have a button charm with the Coliseum. They had um, the gondola and some pizza, lots of different, really pretty exclusives. They also had the Eiffel Tower and a few other non-Roman um exclusives you should say not really exclusives but travel charms it was really fun now the one caveat to this entire airport experience that was different for me was not used to it was I did have to have my boarding pass to buy a charm and my mom was sitting down outside with the boarding passes so I had to just run back and grab that from her which was easy enough but if you're going to this store just bring your boarding pass and then a quick look at the Coliseum charm. So mom and I each got one of these. And then she also got the gondola. I hope you liked this video. If you did, you may want to hop over to check out my travel bracelet or my mom's travel bracelet. So each of us got a lot of these exclusive charms on our trip. And then we have styled them a little differently. So both on heart clasp uh, closure bracelets. But mine is more rose gold and silver with a little bit of blush. And mom's has blues and silvers and rose golds and golds. I do a full look at each bracelet and you can go check that out if you want to see how we ended up styling all of our charms. Either way, I hope you loved this video and I hope it helps you on your next cruise. Bye.